Okay, this video is going to be quick. Um, I just want to make a comment on something that I found disgusting. Is it, it's some people say it's controversial. I don't think it's controversial. I think it's animal cruelty. Is the death of a Rottweiler named Max, a two-year-old Rottweiler named Max, in in uh, California, um, was shot by police. Um, I don't, I'm not going to show the video. Um, I don't have it, have that kind of computer know-how edited it in. So go look at it somewhere else. But this is just a response to it. Um, what happens? I'll tell you what happens. Is um, it's in a black neighborhood, and there's uh, there's a armed robbery that appeared uh, to happen at a residence, so someone's house. And there's a SWAT. There's police. Uh, um, just barricading off uh, a street corner and they're going in and out of the building and this one well not this one there's several people filming there's about probably five people filming there's actually the footage that you see is someone filming the man filming um, so there's this man filming on his uh, iPhone um, the police um, going in and out why I don't know probably just uh, show his friends, maybe a YouTube channel. I, I'm not sure why he's filming. But they said it was um, uh, interfering with their investigation. Um, and I think he was yelling some things um, at them. Um, so it, w it was pretty far away, though. It was, it was, um, they had to walk, the police had to walk quite, quite a distance to arrest him. But they arrested him for interfering with the investigation. Um, and the man was filming, he had his dog on a leash, his Rottweiler. And um, when he saw the police approaching, he put the dog in the car, but the windows were down. Um, and then the police came up and they uh, ha they put his hands behind his back and cuffed him. And then the dog saw that, and um, anyone with a dog knows that they're really loyal. So. The dog took that as as a threat to his uh, master or uh, friend or family member, whatever the dog would view the man as, and uh, started barking aggressively out the window to say, "Hey, let, let him go." Um, but then they they um, started walking away towards the um, police car to put him in. So the the dog um, Max, the Rottweiler, jumped out of the the car window, the back seat. And he didn't attack the police officers. He was just barking. On the barking, and he was about five to six feet away. And um, the police shot him. Uh, shot him in the head. Um, There's four shots fired, I believe. Um, the bullet went somewhere in his head. And he, um, the dog, I'm talking about, went on, uh, went around in a circle, dazed. Um, fell on the ground and started having a type of a convulsion like seizures and um, just yipping and, and eventually dying um, a slow painful death and to people saying that the officer was protecting himself um, I would agree I would say yes but these officers uh, have so much more options than shooting the dog um, they view the dog as a as an animal which it is, but it's also a member of this person's family, and they obviously didn't know someone was filming this, otherwise they wouldn't have did it for the negative publicity. Um, they could have maced the dog, they could have uh, tasered the dog, they could have pinned the dog down. Um, these police are, are trained to deal with um, possible encounters with people with broken bottles and um, drug needles, uh, hepatitis infested heroin needles attacking them. So to say that they're afraid of this dog um, but nipping at them is just ridiculous. Um, that's part of the job. It doesn't give you the right to shoot, shoot the dog. If I was a police officer in that situation, I would not have killed the dog. I would not have shot the dog. Um, so I, I believe this is animal cruelty and I think this is just an excuse for the for the police officer to use his gun. And um, there are several petition, petitions on Facebook and Twitter. Um, pound uh, justice, justice uh, 
for Max on uh, Twitter is a uh, is kind of like a support page um, for him and the owner. And uh, there's there's uh, causes.com has a petition and it's um, it needs another about twenty thousand signatures. Um, and then twenty thousand signatures later, um, it says that the um, officer that sh shot the dog um, can uh, be fired. It's a, it's a letter to his uh, his captain or superior officer. Um, so that's what I think about it. I think that you should support support this man. He was very emotional after. Um, what he did wasn't a crime because um, uh, you can film in a, in a public place. Um, it, it, there's no law against it. Um, what he did, I don't know if, if it was right or if it was interfering or not, but I'm going to go as far as even saying if he did do something illegal, even if he was beating up a toddler, um, doesn't give give the officers a right to, to end a life, um, to kill the dog, innocent dog. Um, I don't, I don't think. Um, so the man didn't commit a crime. Afterwards, he was very emotional. He was crying. Uh, it was someone, somebody in his family he lost. It's just like losing a brother. If someone shot my dog, I'm a, I'm a pet owner. If someone shot my dog, I'd be crying too, and I'd be very upset. I'd be doing what he's doing. I'd be going on news stations trying to get justice for for uh, my lost family member because that's what it really is. Um, so that's my view of this and. Um, Justice for Max, the Rottweiler. Peace.